I am a little bit scared. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god. Welcome back to Halo Follower, guys. Today I'm going to showcase some really cool Halo Reach PC mods that you can get right now for free, including a Gouda Firefight mod, a Fiable Longsword and Frigate on Forge World, and some other very delicious stuff that you're not going to want to miss. And also the quote-unquote official Halo Reach PC mod creator has been released. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not good. Okay, maybe maybe since I have a jetpack, everything will be all right. Oh god, they're all coming for me. <laughs> Holy shit. What am I gonna do? Hold on, maybe I can just get in this ghost real quick. Oh god, I don't know how to boost on keyboard. Uh, oh, he died. That, oh man, he died easily. Okay, these guys actually die easily. Okay. Oh god, and they have this weird, like, position now. So, this mod is only available on Beachhead as of right now. <laughs> oh man, there's an air strike going on good. <laughs> oh man. You know, I know that they go down easily, but I can't help but like I'm just wondering, are they as flexible as Oh wow, they are coming right up here. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck are you <laughs> Are you kidding me? That looks fantastic. Is the Wraith gonna fire it is firing at me. They are driving it like they are driving to like Covenant. Oh my god. Look, I, I figured it out, guys. I figured out how to throw grenades. Are you impressed? All right, so here's another mod I wanted to showcase. This is like, I think, the only modification to this map. There's like, a, you know, the normal budget and all, everything, but... Oh my god, this is so cool! Wow. <laughs> but uh, it just sucks that this map isn't really like um, modded otherwise. Oh man, this is going to be dope. All right. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, it can go like, you can stop it. You can actually back this thing up. Oh, wow. That is, that probably makes it one of the most flexible vehicles in this game, as, as at least as far as starships go. All right, so it's kind of got like a drift and a, a drag to it. Oh, man. All right, and we got rockets, too. Let's try these out. Oh, man. Oh, those are deadly. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, the longsword is is known for really, you know, lethal missiles. So, holy crap. Oh, this is so cool. You can actually fly sideways. Wow, this thing is... Holy crap. So, what the rockets actually do is that they fall straight down. So, you can make, like, bombing runs. Let's go ahead and fly the Pelican again. But this one, I think, actually has weapons to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, boy. There we go. Press A to go up. It looks like it's been modified uh, quite a lot from the other version that we played together um, in my last video. So I can't tell much of a difference uh, from the other kind. It doesn't look like there's any fuel rod. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. That is amazing. And what is this? This is the uh, Halo 2 version? Oh, man. That one seems a little bit more deadly, honestly. A little bit more laggy, too. All right. Uh, now, this is the missile launcher. Let's see what this does. I think the trick is, is that you actually have to place it above... So, so it doesn't go in the map. You can't spawn it when it goes in the map there. All right. Let's see. Uh, how, do we, how do we get into this thing? Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, this is crazy. I can only imagine what it looks like to someone else. This is Oh man. Oh shit. Now I wonder how lethal this thing can actually be. This is a UNSC freak. I wonder if someone can get the Mac cannon working, just causing like a massive explosion. It is raining bullets there. And they probably have splash damage, too. So let's see how fast we can get into this thing. Um, it looks like there is a boost. It's got some It's got some drift on it. I don't even know what to say. This is so cool. All right, let's try this thing out. Oh, man. It feels like I'm flying a Phantom. Surprise, surprise. Wow, this thing is flying fast. This is, like, almost as fast as the Saber, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and the bullets seem pretty much the same. 
projectiles. You can actually have like legit space battles. Now I'm, I'm really looking forward to flying a Corvette, but let's fly around the, fa uh, the frigate real quick and just see like how big this frigate is actually on Forge World. I mean, it, it look at the shadow it casts. Um, even as just as a, uh, as just as a prop, you know, this is, I mean, it really adds a lot, I think, to the gameplay. I'm sure like for invasion map or any kind of mode you can imagine really. Now, this will probably make a lot of you guys unsubscribe, but I actually prefer third person games. But um, the reason why I started liking Halo so much is, well, that should go without saying. But so this mod actually only works on the first three or four maps. I think the creator's gonna post more. Going to be, I think the, the whole campaign is gonna be third person, and you gotta like re-download stuff. So this this specific file was actually, um, I think, like two gigabyte for for the first four maps or whatever, because it's basically map replacement. Oh man, yeah. I mean, there could be some uh, some updates to this, but um, so far this does. This does the job very well. I mean, it's third person on reach. Oh, melee is actually really satisfying. It's it's funny. We've been playing for you know almost 20 years in first person, and it's uh it's a little bit jarring to play it in third person. To be real, I think it's something that you're gonna have to get used to. Um, but as far as like a new experience goes, and actually seeing your Spartan, um during gameplay is is such a cool new experience i recommend you guys all get this now one one last thing i want to show you guys that's actually a little bit jarring is watch this look at this whoa what wait okay i'm gonna go back into first person right nope all right so the last mod or rather in this case program that i want to show to you guys today is a very handy dandy program called assembly used by community members, made by community members to mod Halo Reach and the other Halo games. And it was just posted by Lord Zed officially, so the community is now already getting a lot of modding and it's very easy, so you know you don't have to do the complicated way where you had to compile it before. And this is actually updated from 2016's version. So yeah, uh, essentially using this program is very easy, at least doing simple stuff like spawning, for example, MOA from your assault rifle or changing projectiles and other things. Now, I'm not going to go through an extensive tutorial on how to use this because many other people have done that much better than me and I'm just learning how to use the program. But real quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to change the assault rifle to shoot, for example, rocket launchers. So you want to start up um, um, the Forge World map. And, and if you want to look at the Forge name so you can mod other maps, you can go to uh, Help, Map Names, and then it'll bring up a tab here, kind of like a browser, and it'll tell you the... You know, M20 means Sony Sword Base, M30 means Nightfall. These are the maps. And uh, just Forge underscore Halo is going to be Forge World, as you guys have probably seen with my other tutorials how to install maps. But what I would do if I were you is to work off not the original vanilla map that comes with the game, but rather game cheats, no barrier, unlimited forging, all that good stuff, and the Thorge item. So you certainly want to start modding that. But, of course, make a, baka, a backup of game cheats for world so what you want to do is open it up and you're going to get a bunch of these you know confusing like uh drop downs these names and then right next to it there's kind of like a simplification of what that is so you want to type um you can type in asa for assault rifle and then um if you look at uh, the weapon category at the very bottom, WEP means weapon. And if you want to find vehicles, actually, it's uh, very simple to do that too. You can just type in uh, vehicle, or you can just type in ghost if you want to go to the ghost and change the boost, for example. But we're just going to go over to weapon. And once we go down here, um, well, again, it's probably easier to just search it with assault. And, um, but once you find this, uh, what you want to do is when I type in proj for projectile, go up to this little drop down up here and you should see uh, a, samples of like when proj or projectile was like mentioned in this, um, this whole area here. And you'll see this object weapon. So this is like um, the whole list of different projectiles in the game. And so um, you want to keep that the same. You just want to go here and do... Um, Let's just uh, search rocket because we're trying to change it to the rocket launcher. Uh, we'll see rocket launcher rocket. That should be good. And then we want to have the game running while we're doing this. And you just want to poke. And then if you want to save your map, you have to close down the program. But uh, since we're already in the game, let's go ahead and check out how it looks. 
So we have the assault rifle, and there we go. We are shooting rocket. Um, so really, that's that's how simple it is. Now there is a lot more to this program. That's just how to simply change your projectiles, for example. But um, there's I, I'm I'm a beginner, so I really can't help you guys much with this quite yet. But there is a bunch of tutorials that I've listed down in the description or resources, support forms, or a support Discord that's helped me a lot. So certainly go check that out. And also the he the Reddit Halo mods is uh, really growing, so you guys should certainly go over there and check out the new mods or on Nexus. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your time. If you did enjoy today's video, then uh, like this video up and subscribe. Join me on the journey of following Halo. Guys, thank you so much again, and I will catch you in the next one soon. Peace.